Hey there YouTubers, welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I want to talk to you about a cool function in Excel VBA. Uh, this is exclusively for Visual Basic because it actually does something to your computer. The MKDIR, which I think of as Make Directory, a directory is a folder in Windows. Uh, it does just that. It makes a directory, or aka a folder, on your computer. So let's say I'm going to minimize this Excel to my desktop here, uh, which I cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to right click and hit W for new and F for folder. So again, that's right click WF and that creates a new folder. And I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it um, uh, test one, just so we'll be able to identify and locate this. In fact, let's go ahead and double click and open test one. And I want to see the location, so I'm going to click on this address bar. We have C users Daniel slash desktop slash test one. So I'm going to control C copy that. And I'm going to hold Alt and hit the tab button. Go back to my Excel here. So our initial cell here is going to have that. By control V I copied or I pasted what I had been what had been copied to the clipboard. So now we have this. In fact, let's give it a name. We'll call it uh, T folder, T underscore folder, that's our test folder. And we'll have some subfolders here. Let's say, let's say we have three different uh, locations or three different folders for locations. So we'll say there's uh, location uh, one, two, and three. In fact, I'm gonna, I right clicked here by the way and I hit the letter I which is underlined for insert that's how I inserted a new line there I'm gonna say uh, let's see we're gonna have it to be um, number one number two and number three okay so the location will be something like that so we're gonna have location number one see location number one is gonna be equal to this cell right here which is called T folder and notice that popped up automatically when I clicked and we'll put an ampersand and a quote and we'll put our uh, slash there and we're going to say uh, how about uh, number one and I'll hit tab so you see that that's got that location for test folder uh, and then a subdirectory is one. So I'm going to copy this across here. And we could uh, just click here and add that as a text. Also, I'm just going to change these manually. So we have a subfolder called one, two, and C users Daniel desktop test one slash three. Let's do a couple more sub things and we'll show you how they can automatically be created using a function using make directory. So we'll do that and then we'll do a custom thing that we can actually select a bunch of these cells that contain directories and make a whole bunch of folders and subfolders in one file swoop. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Let's just do another thing. Let's say we'll just have it be, we'll say personnel files so we'll make a folder for that so it's going to be equal to that and use an ampersand to connect the text string of uh, we'll just call it personnel so uh, yeah we could have a personnel folder that just has it for all three locations that we have and we can have something that actually uses a subfolder of these one, two, and three folders here. Oops. Looks like looks like my wife got an email. I'm gonna close that out. So finally we're going to have uh labor sheets or something like this. So for each location that you may have, we're gonna say equals and let's use this location. Uh that's found here. So equals that and the text string with a slash uh, labor. And we'll see what that looks like. This one looks like test fo test one folder and then the one folder. And inside that is going to be a folder called labor. 
and we can drag that across and you can see that this is much easier than clicking on this and right click WF and saying um, folder named one and a folder named uh, personnel especially if you had to do this on a large scale so and then going inside each folder and making more and more and more and more subfolders I'm going to show you in here in a second in fact we can go ahead and show you right now just on a basic level um, let's just make the first one right here which is let's see this location right here let's go ahead and click on this cell and we'll do a very simple macro alt f11 remember let's just uh create a new module to keep it neat and clean so what are we going to call our new macro we're going to call it make selection directory or something like that so we know that our selection is going to be what we're making the directory out of so quite simply type mkdir and when you hit a space you can actually type the path as a string so we could either type something like C we want to make a new folder called C blah and that would work to make a folder in my C drive called blah however we actually want to take whatever is the selection the actual uh, the cell that I have selected is B5 and uh, we can see that the selection of that is this folder here so as I go ahead and run this macro, I'll, hit, I'll debug through it. Um, we can hover over selection to see what it's going to make the folder of. And I'll go ahead and hit F5. We'll see what it just did. I'm going to minimize this and minimize this. And you see now that there is a folder created just a second ago called 1. And that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and delete that just for kicks. Alt-Tab so now we're going to make a little more complicated but much more awesome macro that uh, assuming we had several several folders and subfolders um, this is something I got off the web I'm not going to take credit for this but I did enhance it a little bit the first part that I did um, I do remember is there is a way to test if the selected cell is um, if it exists so you say if the length of the direct directory of and then you type the path name the path name in this case would be the selection you hit a comma and then you do VB directory and hit tab we're going to close that up and close that length up so if the length is zero meaning it is not non-existent basically if the length of this directory equals zero then it has no length and it's blank so then uh, I guess do nothing otherwise go ahead and make that directory does that make sense I hope that makes sense anyway we have uh, not really a forum but write your questions below here if you have any of them so some further enhancements guys how about if we wanted to select every cell and just do it all at once then we would say for each cell in selection now that means that we would be selecting several cells potentially and then you say next cell keep in mind for these four each loops you can put any variable you wanted there as long as it's consistent with that so for each blah in selection next blah or for each X in selection and the next X it doesn't matter as long as you're consistent and then of course you'll have to use that variable here and here so for each X in selection if the length of the directory of X is zero then blah 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 otherwise make the directory of the location that's in this variable called X in this case it's X anyway so that being said uh, and then you can also maybe you might want to add something in case it's blank if X equals blank then 
also do nothing. So kind of just skip over that one and we'll say else if the length of it is nothing, you know, so if it if it doesn't exist or if the cell we have selected is blank. So we could select every cell on this and it would only take the ones that are applicable, which may take a little while to process. That being said, we've got a working functional make directory thingy here. So I'm going to select uh, this cell. Oh, we already have that. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. I'm going to hold the control key down and now I'm going to click and drag across several cells. I'm deliberately doing some empty cells here. And let's hit Alt F11. And let's just debug through this a little bit. In fact, I might just uh, minimize this so we can take a peek behind the curtain here. This is the folder that we want to peek at. Let's go to our Visual Basic Editor here and let's hit F8. So for each whatever in all of our selection that we've selected quite a few cells hit hit F8 so the first one is the test one folder which we already know exists so it's not a blank cell and it uh, let's see if the length of that is zero then do nothing let's see here maybe we want to say curious. I guess we haven't made any um, precautions for if the folder already exists so it may get angry about that. Let's see here. Let's see if make directory will overwrite it. Yeah it doesn't like that. Okay, I think uh, I think uh, this needs to actually be here. So if that directory does not exist, then we need to make the directory, and then we'll take out the else in case something else comes up. So that was my mistake. So actually, this one I found by using debug dot print. Um, I wanted to see the answer to the question of what is the length of directory x vb directory and it turns out it's five so that means that the directory function actually is giving us the test one portion of the full file path so test one has five a length of five characters t e s t one and uh, so we're wondering if it's if it has no length meaning it doesn't exist then make it exist. So, okay, sorry for my brain fart there, but that being said, we'll continue on. So I'm going to open up the test one folder. It does not need to be created, so it's skipped over. You'll see I'm going to hit F8. Now the next one we are on is the test one slash one folder. Now pay attention. If X is blank, then well, I'll do nothing. So let's skip over that. So if it doesn't exist, then, and here's the make dir. So we're going to make the directory. I'm going to hit F8 and you see that the folder 1 just appeared. I'm going to hit F8 a few times here. So you see it's keeping up pretty well. I'm going to hit F5 and complete the macro. But if it's blank it skips over them. So I had a bunch of blank ones skipped over. You don't want to watch all that. I'm going to hit F5 and it's done. So it made the 1, 2, 3 and personnel folder but within the 1 and 2 and 3 folder there's a subfolder called labor in each sing in every single one uh, so that's pretty useful especially if you have a huge amount of stuff and then you wanna you know you go back into Excel and you say well now let's make that entire you know file structure uh, starting with a different location starting at test 2 and then you just do the whole thing over and everything all the subdirectories would update because these all these cells are dependent on this starting cell so they would all switch over to the new directory and you could have a huge sheet full of stuff like this and you know once you have it already done I suppose you could just take the test one folder and copy and paste it but it's just cool that you can you have the option to do that so, uh, 
Hope that uh, hope that helps somebody. That's how to use the make directory fun mkdir function. And thank you for watching. God bless.